Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this Amana HVAC system that I have in my hotel room. As you can see this one is quite similar as the one in the Fairfield Inn & Suites in uh, Melbourne, Florida. Although this is another Fairfield Inn & Suites that I'm at. That's kind of a bit of a coincidence, eh? <laughs> but this one is a little bit different and I'll show you why in a second. It's got uh, these filters here that looks like they need a good cleaning. And here's the vent right here. It's got a grate inside there. And you can actually see the fan without a flashlight. You can see it looks kind of like the fan you'd see inside a tower fan. And as you can see, it's not mounted poorly for once. So yeah, that's nice. And it's got this metal plate right here that's leading to an outside part that you can't see from here. And here's the view from the fourth floor of the Fairfield Inn & Suites in, uh, where is it, Ashland, Virginia, and uh, these windows actually open, so that's nice. I just wanted to put that in. <laughs> anyway, you can see this one has these little hinges that it actually, it's actually screwed on to this little piece of wall, so it's a little more sturdy, so that's nice. You can't see the plug for this unit, though. It's probably in the wall. Like, I mean, like, inside the wall. But, uh, yeah. And here's what's... And here's the difference between this one and the other one at the Melbourne Hotel. Inside here, it says this unit is controlled by wall-mounted thermostat. And that is because, over here, there is indeed a thermostat. Yep, it is made by Amana. And, um, it's a very simple-to-use thermostat. The room temperature is 68 degrees. It's currently set to 70. And you have cool, off, and heat, and low, auto, and high, two speeds. And, uh, yeah, I forgot. Um, I don't know if I said this yet, but it was set to 70 degrees. Probably said that 10 seconds ago, though. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm only going to be demonstrating cool today because it's summertime, and I don't want to sweat myself out. But, anyway, that's really all I have to show for that part. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate it. We'll turn on low. It's very quiet and it blows a pretty good amount of air. So yeah, it's a nice new it's it's a nice unit in my opinion. And if I go to the entrance of the room, you can hear it's pretty quiet. So that's nice. And uh yeah, there is also a older version of this unit where it has the handle on the other side of the door and this vent down here is a little different reason being is because the filters are built into here and not separate so yeah and the air cools down quite fast which is nice so yeah and it takes a minute for the compressor to kick in it's probably not going to because it's not at the uh, the temperature I set it to yet which is 70 degrees it's only 68 in here right now according to that yeah, it still says 68. And, uh, yeah. Let me show you the vent in more detail if I get my phone. Let's unplug it. You can see the wire dangling. <laughs> there's the fan right there. You can see it spinning. And there's that grate I was talking about. Or did I talk about that? I think I did. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah, there's that. And this unit is actually raised up quite a bit. So actually, I can actually go to the bottom here and show you the underside of this thing. See? Here, let me get the flashlight again. Phone's giving me a hard time as usual. See, it's basically just this metal plate under there. It's nothing exciting. There's the wire right there. So, yeah. Nothing much to see there. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, I gotta say, this unit goes along with the room quite nicely. You can see it matches the style. So, yeah, that's nice. And let's go ahead and put it on high now. This one's actually got quite a bit of a noticeable difference on high. 
It blows a lot of air now. This thing is really powerful. The uh, temperature probably went down because this thing is so powerful. Nope, it's still 68. You can see it says room because that's the current temperature in the room. But uh, yeah. I usually just keep this unit on auto all the time. I never usually turn it off because, you know, the, these um, thermostats can be kind of confusing when it comes to turning it off because if you have it on the high or the low setting and you try to turn it off, it doesn't shut off unless you have it on the auto mode. It's really annoying. So yeah, that's just a little rant I have to say. <laughs> this thing is blowing a ton of air. And I'm not going to take the filters out while it's running because, you know, it's just a bad idea. Here's the side. And the other side. And what's unique about these HVAC systems is that I've actually never said this in any other video of an HVAC system on my channel. These, the vent on the outside only takes up a certain portion, but then the hotel puts another grate on top of it that fills the whole length of the window. So yeah, I've always found that quite interesting. There, camera focus. And uh, yeah, compressor's obviously not on because I don't feel any vibrating down here. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and turn it off, or at least put it on auto, because it, it's glitchy when I turn it off, like I said. Sometimes when I put it on auto, it stays on because it's above the, the temperature you set. So I'm just going to give it a minute. And there it goes. So, yeah, that was the HVAC system in my hotel room. Thanks for watching. Peace out.